Hello YouTube, this is DrawingKit1313, and welcome to, uh, something new that I'm trying to start. I'm gonna start showing you guys all the, uh, the little programs that I design in C++. Um, for those of you that don't know, C++ is a type of programming language. Um, you know, just like Java and Visual Basic and all those different languages, you know. This is just one of the many. Um, but you know, basically... What I have here in front of me is uh, a message decoder. Um, in my computer programming class, which I am currently in, we had to uh, make this little thing that basically decodes our message. So we had to set each letter in the alphabet equal to another letter. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And uh, yeah, so here's what I have right here. Now, keep in mind that I'm only in programming one. So everything that I have here, I've pretty much taught myself because the class is a joke. Um, but anyways, I'm just going to kind of show you how it works. As you can see, it says type in the coded word, type 0 to en uh, exit, and press enter to type a new word. So if we go ahead and start, e start uh, here, and we type in, I don't know, YouTube, uh, you'll notice that right here, this is what I typed in, YouTube. Underneath it, it types in the coded message, which is, you know, B-L-F-G-F-Y-V. And, um, basically what I have, it's, it's fairly simple, um, Basically, it's like each letter equal uh, equals the opposite letter of the alphabet, so like A equals Z, B equals Y, and that kind of thing. Um, so anyway, if we remember B L F G F Y V, oops, that's not the backspace key, um, and I already forgot it. Uh, G F Y V. So you can see right there when I type in B L F G. F Y V it says YouTube, so it's just you know reversing it. When we press enter here, it says previously entered, and then it tells you. Um, seems like I made a little bit of a mistake because I pressed delete, and seems like that screws things up. So, yep, looks like it does screw things up a little bit. Didn't really expect that. Um, but anyways, you'll notice you know if I type in uh, my name for example, it tells me the coded word. If I do it backwards, G B O V I. It says Tyler, and then when I press enter, it just stores it down here. Um, now, as simple as this does look, it took uh, 234 lines of code. And like I said, um, I'm only in programming one. I've been programming for a little bit under a year, so obviously I'm not a pro at it, but this is what I have so far. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but you know. Um, basically, I have a whole bunch of switch statements, which just makes a certain thing happen dependent on what you type in, uh, being, you know, that it adds, it outputs a letter and adds that letter to a, um, a, a list of characters, which will then make up your word. And then down here, I have it to where it outputs. Uh, this is what happens when you press backspace. I had to have all that just to make it backspace. So, uh, kind of difficult. Um, and then this is what happens when you enter as well as it storing it to another thing. Um, so, this is just me showing you guys what I've done. Um, if you guys are, are really interested to see kind of a tutorial type thing on how I do this, go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be more than happy to uh, kind of start making a tutorial for how you would go about doing such a thing. Um, so, that's pretty much it. Uh, again, leave a comment if you're interested in seeing how exactly I did this. Uh, kind of more in-depth explanation. And uh, yeah, this has been Drawing Kid 1313. Until next time, I'll see ya!